Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Muhammad Usman and I'm health data scientist in School of Medicine, uh, University of St. Andrews and working on different multi-morbidity projects. Uh, today I'm going to present the importance of multi-morbidity in global health research. So the term multi-morbidity broadly refers to the existence of multiple medical conditions uh, in a single individual. So for many regions of the world, there is evidence that a substantial and likely growing proportion of the adult population is affected by more than one chronic condition. However, the true extent of the multimorbidity is difficult to gauge as there is no agreed definition or classification system for reporting around the world. So consequently, the existing evidence-based is fragmented and often it's difficult to interpret. So uh, within health, within the primary healthcare services of most high income countries, multimorbidity is considered as the norm. So it appears to be more common in older adults suggesting that uh, the indices and prevalence may be increasing. Uh, so at least in part because of the population aging, other uh, evidence suggests that it is often more prevalent in those of lower socioeconomic status uh, and may be influenced by other variables such as sex, ethnicity, several health-related behavior, and those are already known. So the coexistence of two or more chronic conditions give birth to a multimorbidity and a physical non-communicable diseases of long duration, such as cardiovascular disease or cancer. It can be a mental health conditions for long duration, such as a mood disorder or dementia, or it can be an infectious diseases of long durations. That could be HIV or hepatitis C. So if we have a look at to the multimorbidity versus comorbidity, so it is multimorbidity is therefore a highly heterogeneous concept and can be used to describe a wide array of patients experiencing a multitude of different combinations of conditions, whereas comorbidity is the coexistence of other conditions within an index of conditions that is specified, specific focus of attention as well. So if you have a closer look to the definition and classification of multimorbidity, so normally multimorbidity are mapped uh, across uh, against uh, ICD-10 codes. Uh, and as it says that that is the coexistence of two or more chronic conditions, uh, a physical non-communicable communicable diseases of long durations that could be, as I've mentioned, that cardiovascular disease or cancer, it could be a mental health condition such as mood disorder or dementia or infectious, HIV or hepatitis. So as you can see as an example, a female age 71 has chronic COPD and recurrent depressive disorder, whereas it has disability, which is emotional functions, moderate impairment mobility, and severe impairment walking short distance. So if you have a look with the multimorbidity with comorbidity in a big page, so it says that the comorbidity shows the presence of additional diseases in relation to an index disease in one individual, whereas multimorbidity presents shows the multiple diseases in one individual. Uh, <clears throat> as a whole, a morbidity bourbon shows the different diseases in the individual taking into account and their severity. Uh, patient complexity overall shows the impact of the different diseases in an individual taking into account their severity and other health-related contributes. <clears throat> So this whole diagram illustrates the conceptual differences between comorbidity, multimorbidity, and the influence of a range of non-health attributes on patient perception of their health and quality of life. So uh, this shows, this graph shows you the multimorbidity prevalence across age groups of several low, middle, and high income countries. This data has been taken from a cross-sectional analysis of studies, including for 41,000 uh, 41, adults having age more than 50. And it shows the high prevalence of multimorbidity occurs in older adults across the country. 
So this shows that the low middle income countries gradually approaching those of high income countries. And as you can see that multimorbidity has been defined as a coexistence of at least two of the following conditions that are uh, like arthritis, uh, asthma, COPD, depression, diabetic, obesity, and stroke, and so on. So another graph uh, has been taken from a systematic review for 39 observational studies across 12 high-income high countries. And this illustrate a well-established positive association between age of and prevalence of multimorbidity. Uh, so this association is commonly seen despite the definition of multimorbidity difference between the included studies. Uh, another thing is about the multimorbidity prevalence by age and socioeconomic status. So <clears throat> in this graph, it shows by prevalence by age and socioeconomic status, whereas one of the socioeconomic status scale represents the most affluent <clears throat> and uh, the 10 represents the most deprived. So the data, this data has been taken from cross-sectional studies performed using a data cons consisting of a complete clinical data for all patients registered in 314 primary cares uh, around Scotland. Uh, so the future research in this area should be cognizant and difference in care delivery and resources availability between different countries and recognize that most uh, optimal organization of healthcare would be context dependent while not a priority within the scope of this report, which we are also aware of that calling for research to evaluate large scale changes, healthcare systems. Uh, we would therefore urge other interested stakeholders such as medical schools and professional medical colleges to remain mindful of this and consider supporting research to identify strategies that might best support such systems and changes. Uh, so that's me. If you have any questions, uh, you can email me. Um, currently, we are involved uh, to work around multimorbid patients with more than 900,000 uh, patients in hand. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions regarding multimorbidity clusters, the way how we extract the multimorbidity and how that's been mapped or encoded, feel free to leave me an email. Thank you.